Me did the yan yan techua, and maybe I'm discovered for you, Pacum Busia for Wagana. No, me used to tap tap send, tap tap send. No fee mobile money transfer. A year easy, a year convenient, a year fast, and sounds so you free. Won't you ashe? Me discover ye map pimp. Tap tap send. In TNA, also download the tap tap send app. No, ever mobile phone so free. Let's see, Kakum Busia for Wagana for Nanina. Tap tap send. Papa no no. Afrobeat, Afrobeat, Afrobeat. Africa, Nigeria, Ghana, and of course, everybody who loves the sound of Afrobeat. I don't know whether we should be happy or we should be doing what because the kind of attention the genre is getting across music world platforms it is really huge and very good some of us are so happy with how it is going but then i keep saying that as much as we have lost that particular struggle that battle to our neighboring nigeria the fight is really going to be tough for us the other day when the ceo of grammys came to ghana i remember during discussions i told some people that yes we can push as much as we want for afro beats to be included in the grammys but whether ghana will still see its benefits is going to be another thing altogether it is going to be a herculean task for artists promoters managers and those who are in charge of these artists the handlers i know it is going to be a hard one to do why am i saying this as it stands now the world attention on afrobeat is situated in nigeria and nowhere else and it's not as if it is there for a fluke and let's accept and admit to that to start with it is there because the guys who are chasing the afrobeat thing they have worked extremely hard. No two ways about that. In fact, we shouldn't take their flowers away from them. We should give it to them because they deserve it. They have worked extremely hard. Extremely hard. They did not joke with it. They have really worked with it. And as it stands now, everywhere you mention Afrobeat, they are there and they are making it big. Now, I have news for you. News is that the AMS, a.k.a. the American Music Awards, one of the award schemes voted by fans throughout America and even the world over, they have also introduced favorite Afrobeat artists. Listen, they have introduced favorite Afrobeat artists. It is shocking knowing the number of people who were nominated in that category. And all the same thanks to my good friend Fidelis Osara who gave me a hint. It gave me a link to go read about the award schemes, the new introduction, and how our neighboring Nigerian artists have taken all the five spots or so in that category. I'm about to give you some more, so relax. This is the editorial here on Flex Entertainment, and I want you to know that we do this for the love of the culture. We do this not with any uh, malice, bitterness, or hatred, but for the love of the culture. Of course, I'm a Ghanaian. You don't expect me to wake up and wish bad for my country you expect me to wake up and wish that everything my country folks are doing is really going on with speed that is what I want you to do let me say thanks to digital Rasta you can also call him currency on camera Richie flex editor director of the show and Emmanuel Fori Lapiji who is also the producer of this particular content right here on flex entertainment our platforms now let's get into the business 
I have been following the American Music Awards. By, and I knew that, or I was aware that they did not have any category for Afrobeat. So when Fidelis Osara told me, oh, now American Music Awards, aka the AMS, they have introduced the Afrobeat Award, I was fascinated. I was excited. I said, okay, let me see who is there, if really they have put out their nomination, because I know they've even activated or they've opened for their fans to vote for the nominated artist because it is 100% voting award scheme by fans. If you are a follower of the scheme, you can vote to support your favorite who has been nominated in there. And I'm also sure that this year's event will be happening on Sunday, November 20th in America as well. So I said, let me see it. Then I'm going through it. I see so many categories looking for where Afrobeat has been featured to see if there will be something closer to my country, Ghana. But the names and the photos I saw there, a new year, just as I have been envisaging that if the Afrobeat thing is still going to be accepted by some people, then it is going to be a Nigeria dominated category. First one has hit us, boom. And it is what it is. I know that very well or very soon. If all things go well as we are discussing, who knows? The Grammys, they are also likely to consider Afrobeat somewhere because thanks to men like Ben Boy, thanks to the few ones who are taking the sound global, they are entering places. They are really breaking grounds, making sure that everywhere that they go to, someone will turn, listen to them, and pay attention to them. So, I am so sure that one day Afrobeat will finally get a seat on the Grammys nominations or categories. But then again, if it happens, my people, Ghanaian artists, it is still their time to prove to the world that they can also do it. It is still their time to challenge the status quo because the status quo, all odds, are against them. The numbers, the attention, the grounds, the connect, the plug, everything is against my people. The odds are against them. They are lagging behind in their competition. But I still want to believe that if they can work extra harder, because there is nothing in this world that is that cannot be defeated. If you really want to do it, you can do it. So I go through the nominations. Favorite Afrobeat artists. And first on the nominees list is Benna Boy. Am I shocked? No. I'm not shocked at all that Benna Boy is first on the nominee list. In fact, for who is likely to win, I'll surely go in for Benna Boy to win this category. Because in recent past, at least their calendar is from September last year to September this year. And if I go through this calendar period, September last year to in 2021 to September 2022. If there is one artist who has done everything to show his superiority and dominance in the Afrobeat world, who can beat Benna Boy? Like, show me. Show me your receipt. Who can beat Benna Boy? Nobody. The person who can come close will be Whiskey. Because Whiskey has also been doing it. Getting the numbers, amassing all the following in terms of shows, streams, and everything. He has also been doing it. His essence song and everything that shows that here yeah, he's also here. So Whiskey has also been nominated in the category. Fireboy DML, not so long in the industry, but his impact is hugely felt as much as Afrobeat is concerned. Everywhere you go to, he is also making great waves. Then CK. Today's baby CK is also here, representing Afrobeat, because his songs have broken the boundaries that music is supposed to break, and he's doing it so well. Then we also have times. Then I said, the list is over. Five slots, all five slots going to Nigeria. And it comes back to what I have always been pushing for, what I have always been fighting for, that this is a struggle. A struggle where you have to face your bitterest rival. A struggle where you have to go fight. As a David, you have to go and fight Goliath. And I know it is not a small fight. Because now, 
the Ghanaian artist is also priding himself or herself as an Afrobeat artist. Now look around. All the people that we even thought they were doing other genres, dance hall, rap and co, they are all now trying to fit into the Afrobeat thing. Because even when you go into the music market or the digital platforms that you want to even upload your songs, you are even forced to write that your song is Afrobeat because that is the only thing that has been given um, a branch that you can upload your song. You cannot go and say you are doing hip life or high life or any other thing because where would you place it? The best you can do is to place it in either Afrobeat or world music. So it is so obvious that our people are now being forced to do Afrobeat or they are not being coerced. If force is a strong word, I can use they are not being coerced to do Afrobeat. And in doing Afrobeat, you have Nigeria to surmount. In doing Afrobeat, you have big names to surmount. How are you going to beat them? That is my worry. But apart from that, I'm so happy that Afrobeat is getting that recognition. I'm so happy that American Music Awards that has been around for some good years, they have not seen the need to go for favorite Afrobeat artists because they are also banging to it. And a little research I did tell, tells me that if you want to win, you, if you want to be nominated, your song should be banging in America. Your song should be enjoying rotation in America. Your song can't be only popular in Ghana uh, or Nigeria and you get um, nomination in the American Music House. No, it's, it's not possible. You cannot achieve it like that. For you to get nominated in the American Music Awards, your song should be popular here and it should be popular in America. And I just go through the list and I know that all the people here, really and truly, they are getting some good numbers in America. Benna Boy, CK, Fireboy DML, Thames, Whiskey, they are all getting popularity because one, they have all done collaborations, collaborations with some top artists in the world. Most of them American artists. So what else? They are sure going to be there. So it is not shocking that they are there. But I am only telling my people that the battle is not over. And the battle is the Lord's. Yet, we still have to work hard to face the Afrobeat competition. I don't know who we can blame. Whether we can blame our forefathers or our senior artists who started it here in Ghana and could not protect it in the name of Ghana, lost God for it to go where it went to. But apart from that, we can still work extra hard to compete. And that is my message. I'm not saying someone should go and kill someone. I'm not saying someone should go and fight someone or box another person. I am only telling someone to work extra hard. With hard work, the recognition would also come. A word to the wise, I keep saying, it is not in the north, but rather, it is enough. Let's send this message to your favorite artist. Tell him that Sammy Flex says Afrobeat is going. The world's attention is now focused on Afrobeat. Now that nomination has appeared in American Music Awards, the probability that it will go into the other big award schemes, it's high. It's high. But if it is high, Africa should share this. It shouldn't be for only Nigeria. If it is high, it should be distributed evenly. At least like we have five slots. Maybe some Nigerian two. Some Ghana one. Maybe some South Africa one. Somewhere one. Then we know that, yeah, this is Afrobeat. Africa distributed. But unfortunately, all five slots have gone to Nigeria. Hallelujah. Amen. You will still be fine. It is hard work and we will get there. Thanks to the production team for making this happen. The guitar Rasta, Karen Zirichi Flex, yeah, Lapi G. And for you, thanks to you for watching as well. We appreciate your company all the time. My name is Sammy Flex, the editorial for Flex Entertainment. We have some more for you. Stay put. We are out of here.